pronounce it correctly, gets that point and we, oh god, best how many you are, we want to say the first three people to reach 15 points win prizes. Oh. Oh. They, are all, they are all Red Dwarf themed, but they're all rather obscure, so it's not going to be a case of a DVD, which I imagine some of you might actually own. So I'm going to make sure they're all obscure. Now the way it works, this is only going to be based around the first five seasons of Red Dwarf. So if I, did, if I did them all, then I won't have anything else for next year, would I? <laughs> So then I'm going to start, I'm just going to lay some out there. Remember, these are going to be easy and some are going to be hard. So if you can't get it, don't rush your hand up and, and get it wrong. Because if two people get a question wrong, it burns. No one gets a point for that question at all. Otherwise, everyone's going to be throwing questions out there and answers out. Right. Shall we start? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I want one person to pick a season for me. Two. One. Two. Season two? We'll start with season two then. <laughs> okay then, in Better Than Life, if dumplings are cooked properly, what should they not do? Bounce. 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 Who said that? Who said bounce? Right. <laughs> bounce. Is, no shouting out. Oh. I should have said, oh, sorry, that was my fault. I will pick someone for hands up. Whoever I see shoot your hands up first, that is the person who will answer first. So I'll get another one now. That was my fault. <laughs> In Better Than Life, what celebrity is pinned up in the Scutter's broom cupboard? Go on. John Wayne. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> Keep cracking your points, I won't forget. <laughs> there is a lot of people. <laughs> Pick a season. Four. Four. <laughs> if we go to season four, what we find? When lying, in Camille, what does Crichton call an orange? Yeah. Happen. Incorrect. Check a uh, small off duty check as if I can fuck it, Warden. That is yeah. also incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he refers to. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that question is now burnt. Oh, he actually refers to it as a red and blue striped golfing umbrella. Oh. <laughs> what? Pick a season. Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> what is Crichton's full name? Oh, God. Crichton, do it for me, that is a point for you! Well wow. done! Wow. <laughs> In Camille, what is the name of Camille's husband? Oh. Go on. Hector. That is correct! One point for you! <laughs> what? In DNA, what made Lister a class traitor? He went to a wine bar. He did indeed! <laughs> <laughs> you get a point if you share that feeling every time you go in a wine bar. <laughs> Sadly not. <laughs> well, then we've got a point. <laughs> in White Hall, what does Talky Toaster use as his greeting? Oh, God. Doodly do. That is correct! <laughs> <laughs> Am I making these too easy? No, yeah. we just have to do this. Injustice, who was collateral to Lister's head exploding? The cat. It was the cat, yes. Remember, keep track of your own points. <laughs> first, to f first three to fifteen. Oh. Wow. After the experiment in White Hall, how much life did Holly have left? Minutes. I will need to be. I will need you to be, to be specific. Just gas. Is it in seconds? Yeah. That is incorrect. Three point four five minutes. That is correct. Oh hey! <laughs> in DNA, Lister becomes Man Plus. What is that a reference to? Robocop. It is Robocop! <laughs> Sorry, was that not Red Dwarf enough? <laughs> In Polymorph, what is Lister's second biggest fear? Snakes. It is snakes, yes. God, I'm making these way too easy. Alright, alright, alright. In Polymorph, what does Clitoris stand for? Oh, God. Oh. liberation Integration of terrifying organisms and rehabilitation into society. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I thought that was good! I thought that was really good! 
Okay. In Marooned, the author Eric Van Lusbader reminded Lister of food. How? There were so many of them, probably looked up. <laughs> Go. Meat van, red van, food. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Oh, Christ. These are getting too easy. I need to try harder now. Okay. In Crichton, what does Lister use to cover up the holes in his trousers? Specific. There you go. Black spray paint. <laughs> In Crichton, Lister owned something called Albert. What was Albert? He was molded a coffee cup. That is true. He had molded a coffee cup. <laughs> when you want to be mega polite, what do you call Rimmer? Asshole. No, he's quick. He's good. He's really quick. How many years has Lister, Lister, how many years has Rimmer been failing to learn Esperanto? Ooh. Eight years. Yeah, it's been eight years, yes. Oh, fuck, these way too fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be really big fans of it. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. This is from Me Too. According to Rimmer, what, what is all that Lister needs to know about Yvonne Magruder? I gave her one. He gave her one! <laughs> <laughs> Rimmer has four medals. What are they for? Oh, come on! Three years long service, six years long service, nine years long service, twelve years long service. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Name every episode of season one in order. Oh, oh, oh so and, Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Something spilled. laughs> no one? Think. Go on. I'm going to try because I actually watched them earlier. Um, <laughs> the first one's The End, Future and Coast. Uh, no, I might need to rush you before the people have it as well. Yeah. One more person, otherwise it burns. I actually found a hard one for you. Go on. It's, I can't even the sixth one, but it's. Um, yeah, Future Echoes, Confidence and Paranoia, yeah. Me Too, and I'm missing one, and I can't think. Uh, uh. Yeah. The order it goes is The End, Future Echoes, Balance of Power, <coughs> Waiting for God, oh. Confidence and Paranoia, and Me Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally. <laughs> Alright then, in Me Too, the corridor was painting uh, was painted ocean grey. What colour was Rimmer trying to paint it? Aperture grey. No. That is incorrect. Military grey. That is military grey. Ocean military grey. Okay. In Me Too, the Rimmers have newspaper clippings on their door. Name four of them. Oh god. Yeah, don't rush your hand up, go on. I need best. Sorry, I wasted this one. Oh, okay, one more person. Um, Arnie's best. I owe it all to Rimmer. Um, oh, oh, so and it, it and burns! <laughs> Possible answers I could have accepted were I owe it all to Rimmer, Arnold's tops with us, Arnie does it best, Arnold on top, Rimmer does it again, or oh, leave yeah. it to Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> what is the title of Rimmer's death video? Oh, oh. oh. sorry. No, that is incorrect. One more person. Dispatcher Soup Day. That is also incorrect. I'm afraid it burns. The actual answer was Arnold J. Rimmer a tribute. That's oh. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that noise so much. <laughs> Fucking hell, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Whose hologram personality disc? was hidden in Kachansky's box. Oh. Box? Box. <laughs> it was Rimmer's, yes. Okay. When Rimmer moves in with Rimmer, where do they live? One of the officers' quarters. That is incorrect. They move next door. They do move next door! <laughs> oh, God. I thought that was a bit too simple. Only because I watched it an hour ago. <laughs> According to Holly, 
What instrument, if he invented hollow rock, would women be illegal oh. to play? The cello. It would be the cello, yes. <laughs> what did Red Dwarf use as a replacement for dog's milk? I mean, oh fuck! <laughs> 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 Give yourself a oh, point. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what was the dog's milk? Oh, 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 <laughs> there you go. That's how I do it now. I've killed it. <laughs> I burnt it. <laughs> what was Rimmer's nickname in school? Judas. That's his middle name. Oh, oh yeah. Bonehead. It is Bonehead. <laughs> also, I just noticed that I just noticed the Mr. Flibble. That is <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> 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 in Better Than Life, according to Holly, what is average delivery time for second class post? Three million years. Three million years it is. <laughs> what is the name of the video game brand they received in Better Than Life? Kickboxing. I'm afraid it's not. Any other one? Total immersion. Oh, Video game, I think video game, total immersion video game. That's correct! <laughs> total immersion video games! What did Rimmer do to his parents when he was 14? Ooh. He divorced them. He did, he divorced oh. them. <laughs> While in the car with Magruder, what does Rimmer add to make it perfection? Fluffy dice. He does, he adds fluffy <laughs> dice. Pink fluffy dice. Actually, they were yellow. Were they, they were yellow. Big <laughs> yellow dice air freshness. <laughs> What does Lister order in the restaurant in Better Than Life? Tikka Masala. It's a uh, caviar vindaloo. It is a caviar <laughs> vindaloo! So it's Okay. Yeah, it was curry, but... Oh, in thanks for the memory, how long did it take... Uh, and we've not had to answer the question, so I'll finish the question, otherwise, not answering you, I'm not looking you, it's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> how long did Rima have sex, including the time it took to eat the pizza? Bloody hell. Twelve minutes? It was twelve minutes! <laughs> I just said don't raise it until I finish the question. <laughs> Lister gave Rimmer some of his memories, specifically an old girlfriend. Who was she? Oh. Lisa uh, Yates. It was Lisa Yates, yes. <laughs> oh, these are too easy. I was being I was being nice. <laughs> what was Lister's jigsaw a picture of? Red Dwarf. It was Red Dwarf. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Much to Lister's, ho Lister's horror, who did he find out as married Kachansky? Oh, his future self. His future self! <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> You're gonna win the prize before it's even half past. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is Cat's opposite in the parallel dimension? It's a dog. It's a dog. My god, the hand's raised so fast. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> What did men do during the Equal Rights for Men marches? Burn the jockstraps. They burn their jockstraps! <laughs> Holly states he has an IQ of 6,000. What does Queen say it actually is? Six. It was six. It's <laughs> a so poor IQ for a glass one. of water. Yeah. <laughs> ah, let's try this one. What were the first names of the alternate universe Lister and Rimmer? Oh. Harley and Rimmer. And Deborah Lister. What the fuck? <laughs> <you doing that? laughs> According to Kat, who is the most desirable woman in the world? Myself. <laughs> yeah, one more person? In the red. Wilma it was Wilma Flintstone! <laughs> Use the controls of Starbuck 1. Why? It was like the same as Starbuck 2. <laughs> Incorrect. He's used to the controls in Starbuck 2. There we go! Oh. But they're exactly the same. Oh, I know, yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what is Rimmer's chest made of? Camphor wood. It is camphor wood. Oh, chest. Oh. No, sorry, yeah, not his. Not yeah, his yeah, yeah, like, what? That's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Who was Rimmer in his past life? <laughs> Alexander the Great's eunuch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is a multiple choice. 
Which one of these were not among the food items food items on Starbuck after the crash in Maroon? Oh no. A tin of mustard powder, slice of stale bread, a tin of dog food, or three water biscuits? Mustard powder. Mustard. That is incorrect. Slice of bread. It was a slice yeah. of stale bread. Mm. How much rimmer? So, how much rimmer? <laughs> how much money had Lister saved up over the years? Oh, 23 grand? <sighs> Incorrect. Anyone else? 24. It was 24,000! <laughs> I, I assume you meant 1,000, not just 24. Yeah, 24 <laughs> that was close. What else have we got? Where did Rimmer say in Marooned he lost his virginity? Back of his car. Incorrect. <coughs> the back of his dad's V8 Bentley. That is also incorrect. Oh, it, was in, it was in the back of his brother's V8 Bentley converti convertible. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nearly close with his dad though. I was only looking for the scenario, not the actual car model. <laughs> no. What did Polymorph have at the start of the episode, which no other episode has had? A warning to kids can't watch it. Yeah, out of viewer discretion warning, yes. Yeah. Where did Crichton plug, the, where does Crichton plug the vacuum onto himself? <laughs> yeah. Sorry? He's going yeah. a socket, yes indeed. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> How much of Richard III could Rimmer quote? Now! <laughs> <laughs> If I said that was wrong now, I'd, I'd have a mob on me. <laughs> <laughs> what did Lister use to contain the lemon juice in Polymorph? Oh god. An insemination syringe? Oh, yes he did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine clean. tasting that. It's clean, it's all sterile. <laughs> okay. you know in what order were the Red Dwarf crew victimised by the Polymorph? Dave Lister first, then... No pausing, otherwise I'll have to battle, I'll have to know someone else. Um, 23, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First day, then Captain. Brighton. Dave. Uh -uh. Dave Rimmer. Go on then. Captain. Lister, Cat, Crichton Rimmer. That is correct. <laughs> what, did the what, did, what did the polymorph take from them? No, as in what emotions did he take? Oh, from each of them? Yes. Um, oh, from Lister, it was his fear. From uh, Rimmer, it was his uh, arrogance. From Cat, it was cool. And from Crichton, it was his uh, compassion. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Oh. Go on then, in the big. Fear, fear, anger, um... Guilt and oh god, what was Crichton? Oh no, that's Crichton. <laughs> 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 I can't remember the other one. <laughs> I'm afraid what the polymorph stole was fear, vanity, guilt, and anger. That was the time when he turned into a bum, not the awesome, cool one when he turned into Dwayne Dibley. <laughs> <laughs> what did the polymorph use to victimise Red Dwarf? Go on then. No, okay, so I'll rephrase. What did the polymorph use to bring them to the peak of that emotion? Oh, um, it shape shifted to uh, bring out a specific emotion and Am I not phrasing this right? Sorry? Yeah. What did the polymorph turn into to bring each member to their to that specific emotion? For Dave, it was the itself, the arm of polymorph. For Rimmer, it was his mum talking about having sex with Dave. For uh, <coughs> Crichton, it turned into Rimmer to guilt trip him. And for the cat, sorry. Go on then. Okay, it was the armor-plated polymorph. Then it was Rimmer's mum. 
then it was uh, a river, then it was a, some sexy woman. <laughs> I actually don't know what <clears throat> I believe what she said was hi. I'm the genetic oh. mutant. <laughs> no, that still works. Like, it was just a woman. Just yeah. turned into a woman because cat's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> My screen turned off. It took that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Let's see what else we can pull up. Why were there? Why were, in body swap? Why were there over two thousand wiring faults? One of the scutters went crazy. They did indeed. One of the scutters had gone bananas. <coughs> <laughs> I fucking love this one. In body swap, what does Juzikski mean? It's the noise you make when you close your genitals too quickly in the dictionary. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it in the dictionary? <laughs> it could be, if you're reading in the nude and you call the book too quick. <laughs> How many times did Rimmer have the courage to take off Lister's socks? Just once. Just once? <laughs> Oh, athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> How did Lister activate the self-destruct countdown? By using a vending machine. It was, uh, in fact, he wired. He didn't, did he? He used a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. All right. In pulling off, after losing his anger, what does Rimmer have written on his shirt? Give Keisha a chance. <laughs> Give Keisha a chance, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> what else do we... Oh, here we go. In the alternate timeline in Time Slides, how did Lister die? That's why um, losing control of the plane whilst he's making love to his 14th wife, age 93. Oh, you've got the age! That makes it sound even worse. I was, just, I was happy with just losing control of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> what is the android home brew made from? Vimto and liquid nitrogen. Vimto and liquid nitrogen! <laughs> <clears throat> what does Crichton believe in? So there we go. I, I wanted to do it quick. <laughs> You're fucking really quick about this. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Alright then. What was the religion of Rimmer's parents? Oh, boy. Seventh day Adventist. That is great. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to look there. I'm not going to look there. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, okay. In the last day, what gifts did the crew give Crichton? He got um, the earring from Cat. He got the. Um, Box from, he got the uh, Marilyn Monroe thing from Lister, and he got a General George F. Patton's drain sign from River. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Sorry? Holly. And? <laughs> well, it's that Lister's cat, and, um, oh, sorry, Holly. Yeah. Um, and Holly, didn't she give him a, a complete menu for um, Android food that she needs to have? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead. It's the, she's got a computer chip. Computer chip? Computer chip. Then you got the earring from the cat. Earring? You got the Marrow and Roll from the stern. You got the Marrow and Roll from the stern. Then you got the sign strain from the Oh, he mentioned the sign of That is correct. Sorry, it was a computer chip. I took a specific. I wasn't going to say like what it, what the name of it was because that's way too long. <laughs> <laughs> what mysterious items did the crew wake up with after drinking in the last day? A broken leg each, a half finished jigsaw, and the new roll had gone missing. I said the last day, not back to the memory. Oh, sorry. Go on then. Um, it's a policewoman's helmet and suspenders and a traffic cone. And a traffic cone, yeah, that is correct, yes. Yeah. Do you know, whenever my friends and I go out drinking, we always find a way to, we always find a traffic cone <laughs> just to grab one. We don't know why. We just, it's now become tradition. Well, good night unless you've got a traffic cone. Exactly. <laughs> or a trolley. <laughs> How do you say love in Z80012 using hex rather than binary and convert it to a basic AC, a ASC2 code? Sorry, what? what? Yeah, <laughs> fuck you guys! <laughs> Try that one on! That's from Camille, by the way. I, know, I was really proud of myself for that one. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm going to stop you there because that, that's another question I have. <laughs> oh no! I'm getting spills in my pocket. What? Oh. Getting spills. Don't spill. Don't spill. Okay, we're good now. We're good. I'm just gonna... I can't put them down either because if I if... Bollocks. I'm gonna have to hold them all. Hold on to them now. <laughs> Where does Crichton take Camille for dinner? Paris Bar. A Paris Bar, that is true. That is correct.
I normally, I normally, I had an order in, I was gonna get the prizes, but you got that way too quick so you can have this one. Enjoy a copy of the worst book ever written by anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I actually started this whole thing because I found that on, on, on Amazon. So I'm not going to the panel about that. What two animals does Lister turn into in DNA? A chicken. It is a chicken and a hamster. <laughs> in the same episode, what was Lister trying to say in chicken? For God's sake, give me an epidural. For God's sake, give me an epidural! <laughs> what does Crichton have for his first meal as a human? <clears throat> the way he says it as well. The way he says it? Yes. Chicken bindle. Hmm? Chicken bindle. Incorrect. Boiled chicken ovulations. Boiled oh. chicken ovulations! <laughs> Who now is forever turned off eggs because of that? <laughs> Let's see. What type of vindaloo was the vindaloo beast? Oh. It was a mutton vindaloo. Uh. So many years, I thought it was chicken. <laughs> how many, okay, in justice, how many people was Rimmer accused of murdering? Uh, that is incorrect. I'm afraid that's also incorrect. The answer is 1,167. Well, not bad. <laughs> Why doesn't the prison have any locks or bars or guards? Because every, any bad thing, any crime you commit gets inflicted back on you. So they said, so it's the perfect system. You, you don't want to commit any crime. That is correct. <laughs> I, would, well, I would have also accepted the justice field. <laughs> <laughs> After, oh no, I've already, I've already read that one. <laughs> what does a white hole do? It <clears throat> puts time and space back into the universe. It does, it returns space back into the universe. So what is it? Yeah. <laughs> no! no. no. <laughs> Someone punch you out! <laughs> While playing pool, what is Lister known as? Full name, full name, full name. Dave Chinzano Bianco Lister. Dave Chinzano Bianco Lister. If you want to go on the table, you can't get rid of him. <laughs> what is the nickname of Ace Rimmer's best friend? Spanners. Spanners! What did Ace Rimmer last do before he dimension jumped? Had lunch on Melly. He, that's actually what I wrote! Yes. <laughs> he had lunch on Melly! I was so happy to say, he fucked Melly. He's like, no, he had lunch on Melly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What kind of fishing did Lister do when he was younger? Condom fishing. Condom fishing! <laughs> what did he find? Hey, this isn't the point. I was... <laughs> Black rubble. Two pound black rubble. Sorry, I should have read the down, but it was too easy. <laughs> what is the nickname that Ace Rimmer gives Lister? Oh, Skipper. Skipper! Yeah, Skipper. I wrote that with three P's. Why did I do that? <laughs> I was pished. <laughs> Who did the, okay, in Meltdown, who did the worst of humanity execute by firing squad? We need a poo. We need a poo! <laughs> Craig Charles has never been the same since. <laughs> who did Rimmer use to assassinate the worst of humanity? Did I say Rimmer or Lister? Rimmer. Rimmer. The Queen of England. That's very vague, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no to that. Victorian. And now I'm gonna have to burn it. <laughs> that was awesome. In Hollow Ship, what is the name of the woman that Rimmer becomes enamored with? Um, this is full name, by the way. You can't, you can't use Doctor. Lieutenant Nirvana Crane. Nirvana Crane? Oh my god, you're not getting good at this. Sort of season four in order. <laughs> you do that every time you give up. <laughs> Neither cry in time. <laughs> and if I, I, yeah, if I see someone start pausing, I will do a countdown. If it takes too long, I will, I will say no, I can't <clears throat> anymore. Season four in order, no one? No. 
Not one person can get season four in order. <laughs> Alright then. Every episode of season four in order goes Camille, DNA, White Hole, no sorry, Justice, White Hole, Dimension Jump, and Meltdown. Oh, I thought you were the best of the best. <laughs> what is the name of the hologrammatic ship? Enlightenment. Oh. That was incorrect. That was correct. The Enlightenment. That was the end of the episode though. What class of hologram is Rimmer? That is incorrect. That is also incorrect. He's a class one hologram. We didn't think there were any of them still around. What does Lister do in Holoship before he goes over to attack Binks? He eats a cigarette. He eats a cigarette! Fun fact, that was a blooper. Yes. <laughs> what is Rimmer's IQ? This is a bit of a trick question. It's unknown! It's unknown! <laughs> Oh, what feature of Rimmer's being did we first see in the episode Meltdown? Yes, what be? Yeah, I'll accept that, why not? Also, also known as his light bee. Part of night he was just light, but apparently, yeah, he had, a, he had a light bee inside him the entire time. What does Lister do to Rimmer at the end of Meltdown? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> Aren't you waving? Um, he swallows it. He swallows it. <laughs> What else have we got? I'm going to go back to season one now. Go for the really early days. See if anyone gets anything from that. In future echoes, what did the food dispenser have wrong with its voice unit? Had a lisp. Had a lisp. <laughs> what was Lister known as by the by, by the Philisapiens? <laughs> I meant it's like his actual name or what he was referred to as. Lister the stupid. One more person. Cloister the Stupid? It was Cloister the Stupid! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go on. <laughs> what position did Jim Bexley Speed play for the London Jets? Roof attack. He was roof attack! That's so well done. Oh, okay. This is gonna fuck you all over, I bet you. <laughs> Finish the quote. Poppycock. It will be happened. It has happened. It has happened and it will going to be has will, has will be going to happen. Basically, you've got to think it, baby. That is incorrect. Oh. Bear in mind, this is, this is from Future Echoes. Anyone else? If not, I would love to say this quote. It makes me laugh every time. Come on, one last person. It has happened. It will happen. It will have going to be happened. Um, I'm afraid that's also incorrect. The full quote is, Poppycock, it will be happened. It shall be, it shall be going to be happening. It will be, was an event that could, will have been taking place in the future. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, sorry, that was brutal. Who's going to get that? Yeah. While Lister is deducing how the cat broke his tooth, what is Rimmer humming? Funeral March. Funeral March! <laughs> what hairdo did Holly first give Rimmer? Beehive. You give him a beehive? <laughs> beehive. <laughs> As if you're like a man. Is he French? <laughs> What was the name of Lister's cat? Frankenstein. Frankenstein! <laughs> <coughs> okay, in the end, how many members of Red Dwarf did Lister eat? Oh, six. Uh, two. It was two! He only ate two! <laughs> we know one of them was Peterson. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first time he's ate Peterson either. <laughs> <laughs> what, were the name of, what were the names of Lister's fish? You can't, you've won. <laughs> Don't get greedy. Lennon and McCartney. Lennon and McCartney! Which channel has a dead news reader? Channel 27. Yeah, groovy. From what channel 27? <laughs> what was Todd Hunter's first name? Sorry? What was Todd Hunter's first... Oh, sorry. What was Todd Hunter's first name? <laughs> that is incorrect. That is awesome, Greg. His first name was Frank. According to Rimmer, what does death feel like? On holiday with a group of Germans. Like being on holiday with a group of Germans. <laughs> According to Peterson, what did Rimmer do in his engineering exam? Fucking hell. 
fairy. He wrote, I am a fish, 500 times. The little silly, little silly dad's in the bell and floor. That's incorrect. 400 times he wrote, I am a fish. That is, that is correct. Oh, 400. <laughs> it was 400 <laughs> times. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about Van Arsenal, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> when asking for a 14B from Lister, what did Rimmer receive? 14F. A 14F. A <laughs> 14F. What was wrong with the food dispenser Rimmer and Lister had to fix? Chicken soup noodles. Chicken soup dispenser clog nozzle that, clogged. That is correct. The chicken soup nozzle was clogged. What ship <laughs> suffered due to rabbits? No, no, you back down. <laughs> the what, sorry? The Anakin. The Anakin? Yeah. Star Wars? No, <laughs> I'm afraid not, sorry. Go on, then. I think it's a Lexington. That's also incorrect, I'm afraid. The ship was called the Oregon. Oh! oh. <laughs> I was thinking about making like a web series based off that. <laughs> what else do we have that I could test you with? Like, I'm thinking about random, so I might go over them again. How long was Lister in art college? Um, a morning. He, he took one look at the timetable and checked out. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that. I will have also accepted 97 minutes. <laughs> what were the names of the three women on the Nova 5? Oh. Miss Jane, Miss Tracy and Miss Anne. Ah, you saw that recently. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Rimmer wearing two pairs of socks? Uh, one to put in his feet, one to stuff down his trousers. Yeah, that's <laughs> <correct>. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, I've done all those now from, from Crichton. That's not fair. I went that episode. <laughs> <coughs> it's reported that a new page from the Bible has been found. What did the page insinuate? Oh, to my darling Jenny, all characters that appear in this, in this book are fictional, and any relationships of people living or dead should be... Uh, is merely coincidental. Indeed. It's a, <laughs> the Bible is vicious. <laughs> Did that piss off anyone when I read that out? I don't want to be careful with where I'm treading. What, uh, what was the name of Rimmer's biography? Arnold, a living legend. That's incorrect. Oh, no. Would you have a career by Arnold? My incredible career! <laughs> <laughs> In thanks for the memory, what were the Red Dwarf crew celebrating? Rumor's death day. Rumor's death day! <laughs> Have you not answered enough already? I'm on ten. Oh, I've heard nothing. <laughs> Why did Lister bake Rimmer a cake in the shape of a spanner? Because he was a technician. Because he was a technician. <laughs> Mr. Ian! What type of sandwich did Lister and Rimmer want to eat? Second. Oh, 15. 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I was miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, would you like the one in my pocket, or would you like the mystery prize that isn't ready yet, but I would need to send to you? <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will take whatever's in your pocket. In my pocket? <laughs> I don't know. I want to send it to his pocket. <laughs> don't put Enjoy three positive viruses. Oh. <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> I did have inspiration, but it fucking opened. Oh, no. So now I've got a wet pocket. <laughs> oh, I've lost my inspiration. Inspirations run dry. <laughs> so we have one more prize. My mystery prize it isn't here, so we have to make sure. This is, by the way, this is the best prize. <laughs> but compare the fried egg chili chutney sandwich to. To Lister. He compares it to Lister. <laughs> what does Rimmer think eating the sandwich is a cross between? Having a baby. Oh. Oh, is it you jumped too quick? Oh, yeah. It feels like he's having a baby backwards. That's incorrect. He says it feels like a cross, like it's a cross between food and bowel surgery. <laughs> <laughs> where, did, where does Lister think he got the recipe for his sandwich? A book on biological warfare. Can I accept that? Yes. Can I? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Technically, it's a, food, it's a book on bacteriological warfare, but I'll accept that. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay, in fact, for the memory, how many times does Rimmer have sex? Once. That Once. 
That is indeed true. It was only once. Poor oh, guy. What? Okay then. In stasis leak, what was Rimmer wearing when he was attending inspection parade while drugged? Oh. <laughs> Come on, one of you's gonna get it. Is it his uniform? Sorry? Is it his uniform? That is incorrect. Pajamas. Swimming goggles, socks, and nothing else. That was close, but also incorrect. It was a pair of mock leather driving gloves and some blue swimming goggles. <laughs> In Rimmer's diary, who did he send secret love letters to? Calvin Cooley. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. How does Lister take Holly into the past? Oh, yes, as a watch. What was Captain Hollister wearing to the costume party? Chicken costume. A chicken costume! What? Okay, okay. Uh, oh, you were. In Queeg, what is Cat listening to at the start of the episode? Raspberry Skank. That's incorrect. Oh. Is it the Hound of the Baskervilles that's been chewed up? Sorry? The Hound of the Baskervilles tape that's been chewed oh, okay. up. I'm afraid that's also incorrect. Robert Hart, where does it say? I forgot where it says that. Robert Hardy reads Test of the Durbervilles. Oh, <laughs> but the tape got messed up. Yeah. What causes Queek 500 to activate? Uh, the malfunction of. Um, oh shit, it's gone now. I didn't want my first necklace was leading to a date in my personality. That is literally word for word by Paul! <laughs> nice! According to Queek, what does Holly consult to get all his information on space? Space Google. <laughs> oh, what, me? Yeah. yeah junior Encyclopedia of Space. Junior Encyclopedia of Space. <laughs> <clears throat> what do the machines say to Cat whenever he asks for food in Queeg? Oh. 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 Sorry, you run out of credit. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'm sorry, you <clears throat> run out of credits. How many times does Cat need to nap a day in order to have enough energy for his main snooze? Twelve. That's incorrect. Nine to ten times a day. Nine to ten times a day! God, I've got some proper dwarf. I love it! I need someone, I need someone who knows, all, knows what I'm talking about. What does Queek give Lister for dinner? A pee on toast. A pee on toast! A pee on toast. Okay. In parallel universe, describe what a worm do is. On the ground like this. Yeah! <laughs> Holly believes that the Holly hot drive can transport you to any point in space. What does it actually do? Takes you to a parallel. Takes you to a parallel dimension. Let's see what. Okay, okay, okay. Why does Cat want a grenade from the bar? To play fetch with the dog. To play fetch with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else. What does Cat think a time hall is? Magic door. That's incorrect. An orange whirly thing in space. An orange whirly thing in space. <laughs> in backwards, what started the barroom brawl? Started it. Started, started it. it. That's incorrect. They ate someone's lunch. That's incorrect. If you, because that would that, that would be what happened at the end of it, at the, uh, at the, at the beginning of the barroom tidy, the barroom brawl. It was actually because Lister punched out someone's tooth. Yeah. Hey mate, have your tooth back. <laughs> That's actually what starts it. I thought that was really weird, and I'm glad that that was a tough one. Let's see. What are Rimmer and Crichton known as in the backwards universe? The wonderful backwards brothers. That's incorrect. Sensational Backwards Brothers. Oh, that's also incorrect. It's the Sensational Reverse Brothers. What did Rimmer and Crichton do to amaze the backwards audience? Eat the boiled egg forwards. And? Eat the boiled egg forwards and drink a glass of water. They did, they ate an egg and then drank a glass of water. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else we got. I had one, I had a really hard one somewhere. 
and we'll go for, ah, here we go. In body swap, when are you excused for having green urine? <laughs> if you missed a spot. If you missed a spot. <laughs> God, I had to after. <gasps> what was the name of the inventor of the tension sheet? That's fine, I'm afraid, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid silence is not a good answer. Go with me. Can I give you the, the nickname? I'm afraid not, I need his full normal name. Oh, yeah. that's why, that's why. <laughs> I know he's sticky holding. Um, can... Come on, give me it or it burns. This girl. <laughs> Nothing? Mm. His nickname was indeed Thicky Holden. His full name is Fred Holden. Fred Holden, he was in our dorm. <laughs> in an alternate timeline in Time Slides, Lister has a statue of himself in the courtyard. What does he want it to do? Piss, piss and champagne. Piss champagne, he does indeed. <laughs> oh. They made like a weird edited version of that episode where you actually see it urinating. So I was like, what's, what's the point if it's already pissing? <laughs> no, I, I said that one. What is the name of Crichton's replacement in the last day? Hudson 10. Hudson 10! Ah, here we go, this is a tough one. In, in the last day, what series of Android is Crichton? Oh god. Oh. 4,000 series? That's incorrect. <clears throat> 3,000 series. That's also incorrect. This was a mistake they only did in that episode. In the, you see Lister reading a book and it says Crichton is a series three. It's only ever mentioned in that episode. Since then he is known as a 4000 series. And I think that was also one of my questions, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what makes the crew all viable targets in the last day? Oh, it reminds me of human. I mean for each individual one. Uh, this is what the hell. That is correct. <laughs> One more. <laughs> All right then. Let's see if we can get some help. You've got one more. Yeah. All right, I need to bring up really tough ones now. Really, really tough ones. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we get. In justice, how many times has Rimmer failed his ask for navigation exam? Six times. That's incorrect. Thirteen. It's thirteen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After the experiment in Whitehall, what does Holly's intelligence get increased to? 27,000. That's incorrect. 12,068. That's also incorrect. It was 12,368. Oh. Yeah, I'm a bastard. I'm very specific. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's, see, let's see. After losing... Oh, no, it's too easy. You'll get that one. <laughs> I want others to try as well. Who else is close to that? How many? Thirteen. Th oh. <laughs> Fucking answer questions! <laughs> <laughs> then again, then again, we've got like ten minutes left, so I might, I might as well do it. What happens whenever Caligula said, Silence, scum! Um, he slaps Lister. He does, he slaps Lister! <laughs> mm, let's see, okay. Which one of these were not part of the best of humanity? Stan Laurel, Pythagoras, James Last, or Santa? James Last. It was James Last. He was one of the worst of humanity. Santa's right here. Okay, in Hollow Ship, according to Nirvana, what, how does Rimmer have sex? Like a Japanese meal. Like a Japanese meal. <laughs> Small portions, but so many courses. <laughs> <laughs> what does, okay, in The Inquisitor, my opinion, a terrible episode, what does Cat think is enough to have led a worthwhile life? All on the floor. He's given pleasure to the world because he has such a beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we've all looked. <laughs> Rimmer signs all of his official letters. AJ Rimmer, BSC. What does BSC stand for? Luigi. Bronze swimming certificate. Bronze swimming certificate. <laughs> In the Inquisitor, how does Lister manage to open a door? With a severed hand. With a severed hand. Oh, it's so creepy. It looks really real as well. 
Oh, okay, okay, let's fuck you all over with this one. What does 00110011000110011000110 mean? Don't start on time when you're in mortal danger. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the, it's the fucking binary, it's the hard bit. Yeah, I swear, if one of you said, actually, you said it wrong, I'd be, I'd be like, well, you get up here then. <laughs> What's dead and dead and dead all over? You. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Which of these wasn't one of Langstrom's viruses? Inspiration, generosity, charisma, or luck? Generosity. Generosity, yes. it wasn't. That was sexual magnetism. <laughs> According to Crichton, what are the chances of pulling each of the aces from a deck of cards? Uh, you don't have to pick. 1,200 That's incorrect. Who wants to round up? That's also incorrect. I'll try and do this as really extravagant as he did. 270,725 to 1. Ooh. When thrown into quarantine, why do Lister, Crichton, and Cat have to stay in single quarters? Lister's the only registered crew member. That is true, he's the only registered crew member. What does Lister do, much to Crichton's disgust? Well, there's always and always looks at the end. Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> okay then. I might have to go right to the very end now, just to find some of the hard ones. Let's see. When controlling Lister, what do the lows make him eat? A tarantula. A tarantula. Mm. See, the easy ones, it stops you two from winning, because they all get it as well. <laughs> According to Rimmer, what are the higher versions of themselves? Hippies. Hippies! <laughs> Despite all of his adventures, what did Lister never think he'd experience? An edible pot noodle. An edible pot noodle. <laughs> Name every episode of season five in order. <laughs> I'm giving you two a chance now. I feel like I'm avoiding you. And plus we've only got like seven minutes left. I'm not sure what the BBC kind of yeah. random. I like the team you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know it? No, do you know it? No. <laughs> We're fucked, aren't we? <laughs> no one? I'm going to stop you there, that's season six. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't in order, but it was season six. Okay. No one else? Very well then. It was Hollow Ship, The Inquisitor, Terraform, Quarantine, Demons and Angels, and Back to Reality. How will Lister and... Wait, did I, did I do that one? No, I didn't do that one. In Back to Reality, how will Lister and Rimmer connected? Stepbrothers. They are, they're stepbrothers. Wait, no. No, they're not. That's incorrect. Half brothers. They're half brothers. Use your eye, I'll say mother. Hey! You don't get a point, though. <laughs> what were the reasons for the crew wanting to end their own lives? Um, Lister was a um, bloodthirsty fa fascist dictator who um, went against his morals for being a good man. Yes. Um, Rembo was basically a, a bum, and therefore he, and also related to Lister, so therefore he could use his. his background as an excuse. Yes. Um, Kat had lost his cool and composure and vanity, so therefore life wasn't worth living, and Crichton had killed a human. That was correct! Yay. I think that was good. What saves the crew from their hallucination? Um, Crichton turned a gas canister that Holly told him to turn on. And it was called? Gas. <laughs> gas is incorrect. It was a gas. Lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate! Oh, I can't, oh, I, I can't do that one. What is Crichton's real world occupation? Uh, private detective. Yes, I'll accept that. He will, yes, he indeed. He is a detective. Right, come on, let's find someone. Not too hard, because I'm, I'm feeling like running out of time now. Have I, have I, have I done all that? Okay. What injuries does Lister have when he lands in the backward universe? Um, cracked ribs, um, broken back and bruised eye. Yeah, I'll accept that. I was going to say back pain, I don't think it's quite broken. 
But essentially, yes. Because he never goes into specifics how bad that one was. So I will accept for off and back. When they arrive, where, when they arrive in the backwards universe, where do Lister and Cat think they are? Oh, wait, who was it? Who was it? It was you. Uh, not not. That's Bulgaria. incorrect. No, you. Oh, Bulgaria. In Bulgaria! <laughs> Some more. <laughs> okay, in parallel universe, how does the episode start? <laughs> With a dream. Uh, you've got uh, cats looking at the dream uh, monitor and they're singing a song tongue tied. Oh, well done, tongue tied. <laughs> did I say? No, I did say that one. While Queeg is running Red Dwarf, what job does Holly have? Nightwatchman. Nightwatchman! Is anyone else getting close to 15 or? I've got 11. 11. We're really running out of time, that's an even quick with this. Okay, how many times did Rimmer believe he slept with Lisa Yates in one night at a hotel? 12. That's incorrect. Damn it. Six. It was six times, 12 altogether. How did Cat and Lister break the legs? Dropping the tombstone on them. Dropping the tombstone on them! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On which floor of Red Dwarf was the Stasis League located? 13th floor? That's incorrect. Take floor? Sorry? Four. I'm afraid it was the 16th floor. Or oh, floor 16, oh, no, however you want to say it. Alright then. Where did Rimmer hide Lister's cigarettes? That's incorrect. Outside of now. That's incorrect. It was Pipeline 22. Oh. <laughs> How did Lister notice that Kachansky was actually Rimmer? Because he asked if he had sex with him once. As though he had said, um, how do you feel when we had sex? That's incorrect. Did you go look at his split? Yep. She, cause, cause, she, he, said, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, the cigarette, look at his split. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where did Lister get his illegal learning drugs? Names, places, dates. Arnold J. Rimmer, his locker, this morning! Hey! <laughs> Which fish does Cat order six of? Trautella Cram. Trautella Cram! <laughs> what? Okay, okay, here's a good one. What does Lister say to Rimmer to insinuate a threat? Okay. Okay! <laughs> Oh, this is going to get really hard. Okay. According to Rimmer, what are some classical mu musical artists? Motorhem, Motep. That's incorrect. Anyone else? It was Mozart, Mendelssohn, or Motorhead. What did Lister spill on Rimmer's revision timetable? Specific, I'm afraid. It's even more than that. So I'll class that's incorrect, I'm afraid. Go on, man. That's incorrect. Mm, wait, mutton chop vindaloo? <laughs> Mut that's amazing. You have a beard vindaloo now. <laughs> According to Holly, how many words did Lister and Rimmer share? This is from Balance of Power, by the way. It's 15,000. That's incorrect. Anyone else? 17,000? I'm afraid it was 14 million. Whoa. What disorders has Rastabilly Skank been linked with? It's something of the nervous system and something about the bowels. Nervous system and bowels, that is correct. What did... <laughs> okay, I love this one. What did Kachansky used to call Rimmer? Arnie. That's incorrect. Rimmer. Charlie Rimmer. Rimmer. To rhyme with scum. <laughs> to rhyme with scum. <laughs> <laughs> what exam is Lister trying to pass to become Rimmer's superior? Go on then. The chef's exam. The chef's exam. Is that 14? Hey. 14. <laughs> what do Lister, Peterson, Selby and Chen say can go in jars in order? <laughs> what do Peterson, Lister, Selby and Chen say can go in jars in order? They do it as a song, so it might be easy to remember. 
I've been to Daikon, I've been to Juno. I can name many things that go in jars, you know. I think so. <laughs> All I know is the Kachansky bit. Fair cool. Spaghetti? Brain? Well, what? Was it spaghetti in the second one? There's four of them. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't be with them. Is it? Pickles, <laughs> eggs, spaghetti, brains. I'm afraid it's pickles, jam, spaghetti, brains. <laughs> When Rimmer's physical data disk becomes corrupted, whose arm does he get? The transcripts. That's incorrect. Peterson. It's Peterson's! <laughs> okay then. Oh, According to Holly, how many words did Mr. and Kachansky share? Six. That's incorrect. I think it's 47. That's incorrect. It was 173. Oh. Why did Rimmer penalise Lister a quarter of a cigarette? The same as the series, there's a check in the series of funny, uh, sorry, same check in the series of funny, funny, funny voices. That is correct. Yeah. We have our final dwarfer and Smegged. <laughs> I just want to ask a few questions. Did you enjoy it? Yes. yes. Would you do it again? Yes. yes. So if I came back next year with Who Wants to Be a Smeghead, the Smequel, would you participate? Yes. yes. In that case, then, I will try and do my best to bring it back next year with questions ranging from Series 6 all the way to Series 12. Ooh. No, that'll be back to work. It's not, it's not, it's not like great, but I'll try and give a oh. about a back load into it. Uh, Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. I'll try and also get some more prizes in, so thank you all for coming! Yeah. Yeah.